Hello everybody, I'm Moe West, and this is Neo. I know I've done a couple of videos on this game already. I, I even tried doing some live streams of it, and then I just kind of lost interest in streaming. But that doesn't mean I won't do any more streams in the future, it's just that I don't feel like doing any. I have no excuse. I'm just a lot more comfortable recording and editing videos than I am live streaming, and I've been playing this game a lot on my own time. I believe I've mentioned that before. Anywho, I needed another episode to fill my usual time slot, and I was left one short with Hellpoint the Thespian Feast, because that was really short. And I'm just gonna jump on into the abyss. There we go, throw in some of those cups. And let's start on floor number two. I ain't gonna be going too hard on myself. This game is also another Souls-like. This and Hellpoint are two of my favorite Souls-like. I think... Hellpoint just beats this game out a little bit. Anywho, this is the abyss. Each floor has a boss that's straight through there. You can fight them whenever you feel like it. Or you can go and jump on one of these boats to try to clear a side area, get extra rewards, and take away some of those negative effects you see up there next to my health bar that would be going off in the boss fight. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go to the Plane of Infinity. Which is just like a section of a level from earlier in the game. Where you fight your way through a bunch of demons and other assorted people who want you dead. And then you find a little Kodama spirit who takes away one of those bad effects for you. And this place... I think this is a section of a certain castle that was overrun with spiders. It's... Yeah, I can't go through there. And this is definitely a chunk of that spider castle level. And there we go. We got some skeletons already. Take that, you little bony prick. I'm gonna be stomping so much demon ass, it ain't even gonna be funny. Come on, you little bitch, you think you can take me? I'm a person who's been fighting demons all my life. Me am's the slayer of all of the demons. No demon can withstand my wrath. Now, oh looky here, more skeletons. Ow. You and that little spear of yours, you ain't got nothing on me. Can't fucking slice me up with a spear. You can try all you want, but it won't do you no good. Now, where, oh, where is that Kodama spirit who will be taking me back to that little hub area? And yeah, I think that... I think that other move I've been doing does more damage than just stabbing them while they're down. And... You know what? I'm gonna use the other sword. The real big one. You little punk. I'm gonna switch back to the other sword. Call me a basic bitch, but I'm more comfortable using this thing. Oh look, a kappa. And he ran into the thing that makes the other guy show up. Maybe we can lead him away. All right. Oh, no. I'm stepping in spider webs. Oh, don't you... Okay, this is kind of a bad situation. You need to mind your own damn business, skelly boy. Now, where'd that kappa run off to? Oh, he's down in there, scurrying around. Oh, there he is. He found his way out. I'm probably gonna regret this. Definitely regretting this now. So... Ow. Running away. 
And I've backed myself into a corner. That's fantastic. It's what I get for going after the poor, defenseless little kappas. Now, you need to leave me alone, bone boy. I got other things that don't involve you going on. Oh, now the spider hit me with his slow juice. That's perfectly normal, and take that. Yeah. Okay. We're in a good spot. We ain't dead. And there's... Well, I ain't dead. That's really the best we can hope for. Now let's take care of you, Mr. Raven Tengu. These guys are some mean sons of bitches. And we got a goddamn spider poking its goddamn spider nose where it don't belong. I'll just take care of that while dodging Birdman over here. And fuck it, y'all asked for it. You asked for my secret weapon. There we go. Now then, I'll just have to fix your little red wagon now, won't I? There, that's better. I'm all good and alive, and you really want some of this now, don't ya? But that's just too bad now, mister! And we will be dealing with you. There you go. You are in the process of being dealt with. My only regret is that little Kappa got away from me, and it's all your fault, bird boy! I will never forgive you for this! You will suffer greatly until the end of time! Now, let's fuck you up some, because everyone needs a good fucking up every once in a while. Yeah, there you go. And I... Okay, yeah, this dude over here, you're still alive! You managed to n slip under my radar while I was trying to deal with that Kappa, which managed to slip away from me because of your assholery. Ow! I was hoping he would do a backflip so that I would end up hitting one of his horns. That is my usual strategy for those guys. And another thing about the abyss is, if you, well, a thing about this game in general is, if you die, your guardian spirit gets left behind along with all of your souls. Let's just call it that. And if you die in the abyss without your guardian spirit, you get thrown back out and lose all the treasure you picked up. And fortunately, I have this bell of invocation. Which means I could just call my guardian spirit right back to me. Without having to go and pick him back up. Normally, it would be a summoner's candle that you use for that. But unfortunately, summoner's candles are not usable in the abyss. We're gonna go down the right way this time. Instead of jumping off the roof trying to ca chase after a kappa. Which, of course, means we gotta deal with another one of these Raven Tengu guys. They ain't too difficult if you know what to do. And I have a very effective strategy. And that is to kick the shit out of them until they lose their stamina. Which makes it so that they can't do shit about it when I'm over there wailing on them in my low stance. With all those rapid-fire cutting attacks going on, they are completely helpless. And now that you got that earth thing going on with you, your stamina goes down even faster. Look how helpless you are. Now let's just finish you off nice and easy. You ain't got shit on me, mister. Now, if you would just drop dead, me be happy. Yeah. Excellent. And since he popped out of that cloud of otherworldly gas, 
he does not respawn if I die or hit that shrine again. Now, let's finish you off. There you go. Anyone else want a taste of my sword? There's always someone who does. Always got some bitch-ass spiders coming up in here wanting some of this. They want some of this sweet samurai ass. And they are getting not what they came for, but instead they are getting utterly destroyed. That's just the way I like it. That's the way we do things here in the in the bygone samurai days of feudal Japan. Now let's just fuck this spider up real good. And you, sir, are done. I'll just be taking all your stuff. And you are heading, taking me back to Terra Firma. Which is that name of the little hub area. Just outside the boss. And now we've got a red jewel placed in this thing. That means the... Th the... the... that fucking... That thing that was there, up there by my health, is not there anymore. And we still have a thing that will have me constantly poisoned in there. Which will be undone by clearing the plane of eternity. And then we got a thing that makes my equipment heavier. And then a thing that makes water just spout out of the ground and hurt me. These are things that I don't want to have to deal with. So I'm going to have to get through these planes. And just... Yeah. Okay, why isn't this rock going down? There it is. Alright, like I was saying, I'm gonna have to go through these other planes to get rid of those. I can probably live with the... that weight problem. But the poisoning, that has to go. And there goes a f magical fox demon just plummeting off the mountain to its demise. And look at here, we got another goddamn bird man. Raven Tangoos, you are some big ol' meany asshole men. And your presence will not be tolerated. My eye is burning for no goddamn reason again. Why does it always happen when I record that my eye starts burning like hell? Fortunately, this game has a pause button. There we go. Eye drops have been dumped into my face. And I ain't got no bad eyes to worry about. So I should be good for this dude. I will take care of you. Just you wait and see, mister. And there you go. Now I'm not entirely sure why that move there didn't cut his head off. Usually when I finish off a demon with that move, his head goes flying off doing, like, somersaults and whatnot. Ooh! Let's not open this chest the normal way. If you take a look at these chests, you'll see that normal ones only have two gold bars on the sides. This one has three, meaning there's a Mujina hiding in it. And if you whistle at the chest, he pops out without causing any harm and he's doing one of these you do the same gesture and then he's happy if you do the wrong gesture he tries to kill you there we go lots and lots of treasures a dark souls clone where mimics can be friendly and illusory walls try to kill you I'm not even joking about that. There are enemies in this game that disguise themselves as walls. It's like, I've, I'm pretty sure it's called a Nurikabe, a big old wall demon. And you can get them out of the way without having to fight them. 
but it depends on the kind of gesture you use. If you use a friendly gesture, he might move, he might get angry, like it's randomized every time. The kind of gesture that they like or hate is different. And you need to learn how to mind your own damn fitness, son. I'm over here trying to fight a goddamn fox and you're poking your nose where it don't belong. Now let's get a move on, shall we? I would like to avoid getting killed because I don't have any more of those bells of invocation. Meaning, if I die, I'm gonna have to get my spirit back the old-fashioned way. And you, sir, are going to be a major pain in my ass, aren't you? Come on now, try to hit me! I dare you! Well, you took too long, and you done fucked up, mister! That's what you get for not going after me when you had the chance. Now, if we can just find that Kodama, he's somewhere off to the right. I know that because there's a line on a magical compass in the top right corner of the screen that my face is covering up, but it points you in the right direction toward the, towards your goal for each mission. And you, sir are going to be a pain in the ass, which is why I must break your horn, and then I stab at me. I will cut your ass up, and you are done. Now, hmm. Does this lead? Yes, it does. It leads to a higher road, which means I'll be able to get through here with a little less pain in my ass coming from the dudes down in that cave. And this ain't taking me the exact way I thought it would, but it seems to be working. And you, piece of shit, pop it up out of the woodwork like that, I will not tolerate your behavior! I will not tolerate such behavior from anybody. Nobody gets a free pass on that. Now, who just happened to see me? Ah, the dude with the cannon, of course. He's out there trying to shoot me and there's an axe boy. I don't want to be seen while trying to shoot Cannon Man. Okay, good. You patrol back the way you came. There you are, Cannon Boy. Now just hold still. There you go. Arrow to the face. Now get back up. I can't shoot you in the head while you're on the ground. That's just the rules. And now... Okay. He hit me a little and he fell and broke his ass. And... Gotcha. I find it odd that an arrow is able to cut his head clean off like that. And this ain't going well because I don't like you. I'll be able to deal with your nonsense, but I will only accept a limited amount of it. And you have fallen clean into your death. Straight down the death hole he went, and I never have to see his stupid face again. Hey, there's the Kodama. And what is guarding you? Probably something that's not on its own. There's probably going to be somebody hiding back there. They're going to start throwing rocks at me or something. But first, yeah, this, this chest has two bars. Means it's not a Mujina chest. Okay. That's good. Got me some good shit right there. And, okay, it's just a Raven Tengu. You guys are good. I can handle you if it's just one at a time. Now then, I would very much like it if you were to jump off the cliff and that would be the end of you. Despite your ability to fly, you can still fall to your death. And that is extraordinarily convenient for me. Now then, come on, get away from the wall. And don't go throwing your wind blades at me. Get back over here. I won't be 
dealing with much more of your happy horse shit, mister, because you're finished, or at least you will be soon. Now come on, son. I can do this all day, except I can't because I got a schedule to keep. There goes your head. Now I'm happy. Your head is gone, and my eye is starting to burn again. But that's fine, because we got ourselves a happy little friend here. Now get rid of that poison effect for me. Now there's a blue jewel and no poison effect going on. And just in case you're wondering, the little the frame around those icons tells you and matches up with the color of these flags so that you know exactly which flag to follow to get rid of which status thing. And it also tells you what they do right here on the pause screen, or the menu screen, I should say. And there you have it. Reduced agility, create water area. I've been through that water area before, and I would prefer to not do it again. So we're going to the plane of ubiquity. Or is that ubiquity? I'm not sure. I've only ever seen that word written. And I can deal with the slightly reduced agility. It's just the poison, that other status ailment that I'd prefer to do without, and the water area that I want to get rid of. So let's just slap this shrine real quick. And see what we're dealing with here. Ain't nothing hidden over there. Oh look, we got a big one-eyed bastard. These guys hit really hard. But like most enemies, if you got the strategy down, they are nothing. And my strategy mostly revolves around doing this sort of thing to the big boys like the Raven Tengus or the One-Eyed Oni, which is exactly what you are. Now there's a second punch, no third punch, which is good. And that means I can fuck you up real good. And we'll just get rid of that pool of swirling corruption, that yokai realm that you like to do. Hey, nice eye, thanks for letting me stab it. Normally, when you stab them in the eye like that, if they don't die, they jump up and go like, Ugh! And they also do the same thing if you shoot them with an arrow or a bullet. Because it just so happens that I also have a goddamn musket! A fucking matchlock rifle. Those things is helpful when you don't have any arrows to fall back on. But... Oh, looky here. One of these guys. I really don't like these ninja demons. They can be real assholes, especially the ones that have a sword and a hand cannon at the same time. But that is the end of him. He's done. He ain't coming back because he jumped out of the fucking cloud of otherworldly fart gas and you sir you come up this way I don't want to pull aggro from anyone else while I'm dealing with you I prefer my battles to be one on one and it just so happens some asshole who can't mind his own goddamn business decided to shoot me in the back and that that tiger blade didn't hit him at all, but there you go. Now, who's the big swinging dick who decided to shoot me? I see that big swinging dick is you. There you go. Nice and good. You are still alive, but... It's fine. I'll just take this shit, and you can't do shit to stop me, because you're dead. Now let's make sure there's nobody gonna come running up my ass when I deal with the dude coming out of this cloud. Hello? Any ass biters? No, it would seem not. So what's it going to be? Ah, figured it was gonna be one of you. 
one of these guys. The, of course, the same strategy for all the really big scary demons. Break their stamina, wail on them in low stance, and you slid back into your yokai cloud. That's what allows them to rebuild their stamina. And... Ah, he fucking sumo stomped me. That's not nice. Get on over here. Yeah, I'll just fuck you up nice and good. And we will see you in hell. Victory is mine. Give me all your shit. Now then... I'll just loot whatever chests I find. And... Okay, I'm thinking that Kodama I need to find might be in the underground section of this stage. Oh, we got another Mujina chest. I'd like to avoid fighting these guys if I can. I'm not sure if I'd have a bad time with them or not. Uh, okay. He's disappointed! Oh, look at you, you little sadist. How happy you are in my disappointment. Now just take all my shit that you dropped and be on my merry way. Now... There's an entrance to the underground area there. There's a hidden entrance to it behind this building. And there's another entrance to it that's way up behind that temple that we started this section out in. You wouldn't exactly understand how that would lead underground. It seems counterintuitive going up when you're trying to go underground. Who's coming after me? Ah, of course. A man with a spear and nothing better to do than go projecting his own insecurities on me. How dare you, mister? Let's just fix your little red wagon. Not sure why I've been saying fix your little red wagon a lot. It's just fun to say, I guess. Anywho, I'm going through the entrance that's up here in this cave. Might be a few more assholes to kill along the way. But I can deal with that. God damn you, you're just a little bit too low for me to hit you with this thing. There we go. That quick draw slash does a shitload of damage. And I'm pretty sure some of these statues in here like to spit poison or fire. Speak of the devil, there it goes, spouting its flames. And there you go. I could have got another finishing blow on him. Doesn't matter, didn't need it. I just need to not stand in that yokai gas. You and your nasty farts blocking up my ability to rebuild my stamina. I can't tolerate behavior like that. No, sir, I cannot. And here we are. Here's that other entrance that I mentioned. Down the ladder. And down the other ladder. And if I recall correctly, there is a... Uh-oh. There's you, but I'm not sure if in the abyss we'll be running into one of those wall creatures. Those Nurakabe I mentioned. There should be one right over here where this guy's popping out, but it looks like it ain't there in the abyss. Seeing how this is the abyss, there ain't no wall, boys. And here's that jumpy pound that leaves your gas all over the place. These... God damn demons need to learn a thing or two about shitting all over the floor like that. They're getting swifty up in here and it ain't the time for that. And here you go. Now your ass is mine. And I can't exactly count how many hits I'm going for there because there's like, I think you can get like seven of them off before he goes for a jump and then still have enough room for one of these. But, yeah. Trying to talk and count out my hits at the same time, not 
really working, and I'd appreciate you not leaving this gas every two seconds, because if that gas is down, I can't kick the stamina out of you. Look at that, more goddamn demon gas. And you're done. Down for good. Never again to return. And yeah, there ain't no Nurakabe blocking this little tunnel over here. There should be one there, but seeing how this is the abyss. And that path there is blocked with rocks. It's blocked with blocks. Blockity rockety block. Now... Okay, yeah. This is the way. This is the way forward. Just need to make sure I'm not about to get murdered. And there are usually a boulder that comes down these stairs and it's not happening. Except I'm not supposed to go in there because the Kodama that I'm looking for is down here. And this also looks like a set of stairs that a boulder would normally come down. Hey, there's the Kodama. And we got on the... Oh, never mind. I was about to say we'd be able to get him without having to fight the dude in the gas, but that's not the case, and we don't have a lot of room to maneuver being in this narrow, cramped hallway. But I can deal with this as long as there's no instant death pits that I might accidentally dodge into. So we'll be Fine, this is a bad time for my nose to be running and making me get the urge to wipe away my nose juices. Now, let's just finish you. And you're still alive, but now you're not. Now, let's jab that Kodama and break that water thing that I don't want to deal with. There we go! Kodama time! There we go. Now we've only got one negative effect going on in the boss room that I can tolerate. It won't completely ruin the run for me. And I don't feel like going and breaking this one because that would take too long. I at least like to put a goddamn boss in this episode for people to see and this boss is Derek the Executioner the very first boss of the game now what are you doing here I guess it only makes sense that you'd be down in the abyss the realm of the dead seeing how I killed the shit out of you and, all right, let's not get my head sliced off with one swipe of that axe. Fortunately, this guy doesn't know how to lay down that yokai realm that the other demons do, but he also reacts differently to being out of stamina than most other demons. Ow. He also does that. He has a way of pushing you back with the power of his farts. When he's all out of stamina, he gets it back with a powerful blast from the ass. Come on now, Derek. We got some executioning to do, and it won't be me who gets all executioned. I'm going to break you, and there's not a damn thing you can do to stop it. Now let's back the fuck up, so because I don't want your ass blast getting me again. There you go. And I'll just back the fuck up because I don't want to get got. I don't know how hard you hit and I'd like to avoid a one-shot kill coming from anything you can do. My experience with these game, a lot of enemies tend to hit way harder than they should be able to. Now let's back it up and here you go. All right, come on, son. We ain't done yet, but you're about to be. There we go. Now, if I hadn't broken that water thing, 
there would have been geysers of water popping up, dealing a lot of water damage to me all over the place throughout the whole fight, making it a lot more annoying. And if we talk to this guy, he'll just take us up to the next floor of the abyss. Or we can cut our losses and get the fuck out of here. Which is what I am going to do. We made our way through the abyss quite handily and got a nice heap of treasure out of it. Lots of divine equipment. Lots of things for me to sell and hopefully reforge my sword to get a certain thing, a certain stat that I want on it. And apparently there's no equipment that was once defiled. Whatever, I can deal with that. And with that, I'm out of time for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye.